Greetings all, my name is Professor Wormwood, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, exactly who is this individual? I am a Pokemon trainer and licensed professor of Pokemon, with a doctoral degree in Pokemon Sciences that I earned many years ago from the American branch of the Oak University of Pokemon Studies. I am the author of over 3,000 articles on the world of Pokemon, and I have been traveling the world for many years now as both a trainer and a scientist, conducting research on every single possible aspect of the Pokemon world in order to understand the smallest of intricacies involving their existence and presenting it in a fashion that is designed with a common trainer in mind, understandable to all that read my work. I have decided to come here to YouTube in order to educate a larger audience on the science of Pokemon and provide a level of analysis regarding their existence and position in the world that others lack. I remember I was a young child when I first became a part of the world of Pokemon. It was my first true adventure outside the boundaries of my home. I remember traveling to the Kanto region on a special visa for that adventure, and though I was scared at first, upon receiving my very first Pokemon, a Charmander, I knew right away that it was an adventure worth having, no matter what adversities came before me. I battled across the region and acquired many friends on the journey, proving myself to be one of the best trainers in the region. I continued my journey from region to region, always striving to be the best, but as time went on, I felt that there was more that I could do with my passion. I started to observe Pokemon not only as companions, but also true living creatures in their own right, analyzing their behavior and techniques in order to understand how they functioned and operated. This is what have led me to eventually pursue my doctoral degree in Pokemon Sciences and become more than just a trainer, and I have never regretted a day of it. I can think of nothing more fulfilling than using science to study and examine these amazing creatures in all of their glorious detail. I find that science is a wonderful thing. It helps us explain so much of the world around us that otherwise is a mystery to most. And the very same applies to the unique and varied creatures that we call Pokemon. What are they? How do their powers operate? What defines their existence and nature? How have they impacted us as a species and vice versa? These sorts of questions serve as the drive behind my research and the drive behind what compels me to wake each and every morning with the promise of exploration and understanding beckoning me to step outside of my door and examine the world at large. I am driven by my curiosity, as many scientists are, and I seek to satiate it by being a part of the Pokemon world each and every day, no matter what the outside might be like or who I encounter on my journeys. With nearly a decade of experience under my belt as a researcher, I am ready to take what I have learned and help educate others here on the world of Pokemon from my own unique perspective, namely as an insider looking inwards from the outside. This might seem a bit contradictory, but this is how I operate. To look at the Pokemon world as a part of it with real world science at my back, using what we can understand in reality to understand what these creatures are truly like in their own world. This is the task I have set before myself for the better part of a decade now, and it is my pleasure to share it all with you. In saying this though, I must make it clear that what I am here to share is not simply information ripped from Pokédex data and regurgitated here for you to listen to. Admittedly, while the Pokédex is a useful piece of technology for trainers that are looking for tidbits of information for context when encountering a Pokémon, it rarely provides a full description of these creatures and lacks true depth. Moreover, sometimes the information provided in these entries is incomplete or even incorrect and can result in confusion among readers that is unwarranted and highly unprofessional. It is my job to help fix that and provide a richer, deeper understanding of these creatures in order to pique the interests of curious trainers and individuals as a whole and provide more than enough context to help fully describe and analyze these creatures as much as possible. Here in this channel, I will cover a number of different topics regarding the world of Pokemon, and will be utilizing my own personal research in order to help shed light on some of the more mysterious and unique aspects of these creatures. This will include not only detailed analyses of a specific species and their characteristics, but also a dive into their biology, 
origins, type assignments and associated powers, and how they operate as living organisms in the ecology of the world. Furthermore, I will be analyzing competitive aspects of Pokemon, since my degree in Pokemon Sciences did focus on battle tactics as a concentration, as well as large-scale topics such as the relationships that exist between Pokemon and humans, how they have influenced and been a part of real-world events, and from a real-world perspective, how this series has and likely will grow and change in the future. I warn you all ahead of time that some of these subjects will contain controversial content, but such is the way of science. We must be willing to address even the darkest reaches of the human mind and what the world has to offer if we are to truly understand it as a whole. My work is ever-growing and ever-present, but I am happy to be able to share the fruits of my labor with you all as I undergo a new journey in doing the best I can to educate you all on what I have personally come to understand about Pokemon. I hope that you will join me on my journey and come with it with a greater understanding of the Pokemon world and the true wonders it has to offer. If you're interested in reading the work that I've completed so far, you are more than happy to. You can find me at the provided DeviantArt link and Twitter name in the About section of this channel. With that said, I hope that you enjoy what I have to offer, and I wish you the best of luck on your own journeys through the world of Pokemon.